If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Let us understand the term projection of a line. A line AB may be situated in space in any of the four quadrants. Consider line AB is situated in first quadrant. The position is obtained by extending the projectors onto the planes. Now, opening the horizontal plane or rotating the plane in clockwise direction, we get the following result. Let us see positions of a line with respect to HP and VP. A line may occupy infinite number of positions in space with respect to HP and VP. The various positions may be classified into the following types. Perpendicular to one plane and parallel to the other, parallel to both HP and VP, inclined to HP and parallel to VP, inclined to VP and parallel to HP, and line inclined to both HP and VP. Let's see a line perpendicular to one plane and parallel to other. In this, a line can be perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP and perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. For the first case, the representation of a line is as shown and its orthographic pattern is also shown. In this case, front view is vertical line which is true length and top view is a point. For the second case, the representation of a line is as shown and its orthographic pattern is also shown. In this case, Front view is a point and top view is a vertical line which is true length. Let's see a line which is parallel to both HP and VP. For this case, line AB is parallel to both HP and VP as shown and its orthographic pattern is also shown. In this case, front view and top view both are parallel to the line XY and both show true length AB. Let's see a line which is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. For this case, line AB is inclined with respect to HP, but it is parallel to VP, and its representation is as shown, and also its orthographic pattern is shown. In this case, front view is inclined to line XY and shows true length of AB, and top view is parallel to line XY. Let's see a line which is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. For this case, line AB is inclined with respect to VP, but it is parallel to HP, and its representation is as shown, and also its orthographic pattern is shown. In this case, top view is inclined to line XY and shows true length of AB, and front view is parallel to line XY. In the given first quadrant, consider line AB which is inclined to HP and also inclined to VP. The position of this line can be obtained by rotating it into two simple positions, which is line parallel to VP and line parallel to HP. First consider line AB is parallel to VP and is inclined to HP by angle theta. Now projecting line AB and getting its front view as A-B1- and its top view as AB1. Now keeping point A fixed, let us rotate line AB by angle phi with respect to VP. So front view of point B and that is B dash will lie on the given line as shown. This line is known as locus of point B dash and we get top view of line AB as AB as shown. So these are the required front view and top view of the given inclined line AB and it appears inclined at an angle alpha and beta respectively to line xy. On the other hand, this problem can be solved by considering line AB parallel to HP and inclined to VP by angle phi. Let us project line AB and get its front view as A dash B2 dash and its top view as AB2. Now keeping point A fixed and rotating line AB by angle theta with respect to HP, we get the locus of point B. Here, point A-B- and point AB are the required front view and top view of the given line AB, which is inclined to both HP and VP. Here, A-B1- and AB2 are true lengths of line AB. Angle made by front view A-B- with XY is called apparent angle alpha, 
an angle made by top view AB with XY is called apparent angle beta. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.